Um, morning and welcome everyone to the 22nd meeting of the Social Security Committee. Can I remind everyone to turn off their mobile phones as it does interfere with the recording uh, system. Apologies have been received from Mark Griffin and their first item on the agenda, agenda item one, is Council Tax Scotland Amendment number two, Regulations 2017 and uh, following negative instruments. Can I welcome Ben Hayes, Head of Policy, Council Tax Reduction Scheme, and Robin Haynes, no relation, I believe, Head of Council Tax, Scottish Government. And I believe you want to make an opening remarks. Yes, thank you very much, much Convener. So uh, I just want to make a few remarks about the instruments and, and what they do. Uh, they do three things uh, altogether. So firstly, they mean that bereavement support payment is disregarded when a local authority is calculating someone's level of council tax reduction, and it does that on the same basis as, as happens in housing benefit. Uh, secondly, the UK government has abolished the work-related activity component within the employment support allowance, uh, and these regulations make some changes to the council tax reduction scheme so that those who would have received the work-related activity component in the ESA will continue to receive the relevant premium within the, the, the CTR scheme. And the third change that these regulations make is to make sure that any income from the charitable funds that were set up after the terrorist attacks in Manchester and London earlier this year is disregarded when a local authority is calculating someone's level of council tax reduction. Uh, we appreciate it's not ideal to be making these changes to the scheme in, in, in mid-year. However, given the nature of the issues involved, it, it was really unavoidable in, in this case. And we've kept local authorities, COSLA, and those who actually write the software that processes uh, council tax reduction applications up to speed, and they're aware of these changes and when they're coming into force. Thank you very much. I'm intrigued when I read the papers about the, the schemes about the terrorist attacks. Uh, tell me, uh, do we have anyone here in Scotland that would be affected by that? The, um, the funds from there? Th there, there may be, uh, there may be some, some people affected by the, the funds. It's difficult to know whether those individuals will be getting a council tax reduction and therefore how it works. But also if anybody south of the border was to move into Scotland, they, they would obviously be having that income. So it was important to, to make sure it was, it, it was covered off. Okay. Yes, yeah, we, we certainly know that there were, uh, just from reading the newspapers, that there were quite a large number of people from Scotland who attended the, um, the Ariana Grande concert. So it seemed reasonable that the, if, if the fund was dispersing payments that some of those might come to Scotland. Okay, and certainly the, the people would, they would know about it, basically the DWP would know about that then, in regards to the instrument here? Um, that's an interesting point um, in that because council tax reduction is now no longer part of the benefits system, um, whilst we've always been quite open, they've never really shown much interest in what uh, the Scottish Government is doing uh, regarding council tax reduction since 2012 when there was some, uh, the, the UK Government was seeking some assurance about the nature of our scheme. Okay. I, I believe that the Minister is appearing before the, the committee, not our committee, the other committee, has given recommendations in December. Was that correct to give further evidence? Yes, that's correct. Your Minister for Parliamentary Business is appearing before DPLRC in early December, and I, I know they intend to, to, to raise the regulations with him then. Any other questions? Jeremy Balfour. Uh, one quick question in, in regard to any kind of um, financial shortfall that local authorities would have. Have you done any modelling on this? Will there be any financial impact for the next six months on revenue from local authorities around this? Uh, we think it will have a very, very minimal impact on, on local authorities. Um, so to take one example, the, the changes to bereavement support payment, the bereavement support payment will be fully disregarded in the CTR scheme. Uh, that's different than how widowed mother's allowance was, was handled in the past. However, widowed mother's allowance could go on for several years, often many years. Bereavement support payment only runs for 18 months. So over, over the whole piece, we think it will be pretty much uh, static where it is now. Okay. Thank you. Paul, <coughs> Paul, did you want to come in on this particular Yes, I, I just wanted to... Uh, get a wee bit more of an understanding. I don't really know how much how the council tax reduction scheme actually works, but these payments that you um, talk about, they, they're annual payments, are they? They one-off payments. Uh, sorry, are those? Are you referring to? So the bereavement support payment, 
and anything from a charitable fund that might be disregarded, they would be expected to be one-off payments, would they, or would um, they vary? I think my understanding is the Manchester um, Fund is making lump sum and recurring payments right. to individuals. Uh, bereavement support payment is uh, uh, an initial payment sort of lump sum and then 18 months of, of payments after that. Right, that's helpful. So, that, so the disregard would be for the duration of the, the disregard lump sum is for the, and also... Uh, yes, that's correct. I mean, there's some things uh, in housing benefit which is mirrored to do with if somebody hangs on to a lot of that money and when it starts to become counted as capital after a year, but um, pretty effectively, unless somebody hangs on to the money, it's disregarded. Thank you very much. Um, will we note the instrument? Is that agreed? Yes. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll note the instrument. Thanks very much. Um, I'm now going to close the formal part of the meeting and we'll continue an informal session. <coughs>